Hi everyone! Oh my gosh, it's been such a long time since I posted a video, but I'm so excited. I wanted to share with you guys my newest addition to my social emotional learning library. Um, so this is a new release from Aaron Blavi. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right. But um, he is an author that writes a series of books on this character here called Pig the Pug. And Pig is one of my favorite characters ever. I first discovered his books maybe about two years ago or so at um, our school book fair. So before COVID and the whole pandemic, we used to have um, book fairs, scholastic book fairs throughout the school year, um, kind of around the time of report card conferences with the parents and everything. And um, we would always have the scholastic book fair in the hallways. And for me, that was also such an exciting time, just as much as the kids get excited for it, I get excited for it because that's my time to kind of walk through the hallway, get a glimpse at some of the new books that come out. And um, I remember that about two years ago when we had our book fair, I saw a couple of books from um, with Pig the Pug and I was skimming through them and at the time we were just rolling out zones of regulation in my building and when I was looking through the books I thought oh my gosh these books are so perfect to teach kids about their zones, emotions, but more so incorporating things like um, perspective taking, incorporating things about how our choices, our actions, our behaviors can impact other people around us and we can also affect someone else's zone and for that reason I love his books and I have to say they are absolutely adorable the books that he writes um the kids love the books and so on the back cover if you look you can kind of see some of the books that he has so he has quite a little collection um of books and I am excited to say I have just about all of the books with the exception of a couple of the other ones the last three on the back cover um but I also love his series with Thelma the Unicorn um and then he released The Return of Thelma the Unicorn so I have both of those and then I have all of the Pig the Pug books and like I said his books are adorable and you will not be disappointed if you purchase these books um the students absolutely love them when I had his books um, the first year that I first got them and I started introducing them to the students and reading the books to the kids, they would get so excited and every week when I would say, oh, we're going to read a new book with Pig the Pug, they literally would be laughing throughout the book. They had so much fun exploring the zones, the characters, how the characters were feeling and we would extend it further and talk about sometimes making text to self connections, text to world connections of, you know, if other people do that to us, how does it make us feel talking about our zones and um, more so taking it even a step further, talking about our toolbox strategies and what um, tools can we use for ourselves, but also to help others if we see someone else is in the blue, um, yellow or red zone. So this book is the newest addition to his series. This one's called Pig the Slob. This is a perfect book to talk about um, kind of blue zone being really lazy. So throughout the book, Pig the Pug here is super lazy and he's sort of like a couch potato. He just sits on the couch and eats and eats and eats and it's almost disgusting to look at and when you <laughs> look at it it's you kind of see um how in the book they talk about how he was always so lazy he just laid like in one position and just like sits on the couch and kind of gorges on tons of food um and then it's cute because in the book there's always like two main characters so there's pig the pug but then there's also um the other dog called trevor who i believe is like a dash hound and poor Trevor always is like trying his best. He's trying to be a good friend to Pig the Pug and um, he always cares and tries like his hardest. So it's also a nice way to talk about, you know, expected and unexpected behavior. So these books are fantastic if you're trying to look for fun ways to teach students about that concept um, alongside of zones and things like that. And um, there's always something unfortunate that happens to Pig the Pug, but I love to use the pictures in the book as well. I love his illustrations because we talk about how like in this book he it looks like he throws something or slaps something um in the direction of poor Trevor and we kind of talk about like the body language too so even though it's dogs it's really a cute way to talk with kids about body language and what zone do you think the character is based on reading their body language and how do you know well his eyes are open really big his eyebrows are up in the air he looks kind of shocked or stunned um and how do you think you might feel someone threw something and it hit you? Well, I probably would be hurt. I might be in the blue zone. I might feel sad, but I could also be in the red zone. And I might feel angry at that person for doing that to me. So but you kind of talk about how it's normal for your zones or your feelings to shift throughout the day. And um, 
you know, we don't always wake up feeling one way and feeling that same emotion throughout the whole day, but we kind of fluctuate and that's completely okay. That's completely normal. So it's really great to, to sort of talk about normalizing feelings with kids and things like that. Um, and so then by the end of the book, Pig the Pug sort of always learns his lesson and um, he kind of changes his behavior. So at the end of this book, he decides to sort of leave a, lead a healthier lifestyle and um, his friend, Trevor, the dog, um, is really happy, but then at the end, Pig always kind of stinks a little bit back to his old ways, and so he's excited, he gets home, he rests, but he kind of silly eats, like, still a lot of food. Um, but these books are really cute, so I just wanted to share the newest edition, so this is, again, by Aaron Blabby, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I hope, and I really, really love his books. Like I said, the students always have so much fun, and this book is nice, especially for talking about, like, if you're looking for books to talk about the blue zone and talk about other feelings or other emotions besides, you know, your typical blue zone feelings of feeling sad um, or hurt or lonely, but this is a really good book to talk with students about laziness and, um, like, Pig the Pug is really lazy. He just sits around watching TV all day on the screen, um, like, his little iPhone and the television and things like that so I just wanted to share and I do have um, another resource I want to share with you guys and I'm so mad at myself because I left it at school it came yesterday in the mail and um, I opened it this morning from Amazon and brought it to school with the intent of looking through it and putting it back in my bag so I could film a video and of course I get home and I realize I left it on my desk at school and we don't have school tomorrow because it's Veterans Day but anyways so sharing a new addition to my SEL library. If you love Pig the Pug books and you have books of Aaron Blabby's or maybe other books of his, please leave a comment or message me. You can reach me on Instagram. Um, so my Instagram handle is at school psych, Amanda G, all one word. And I also have a teacher's pay teachers page, also at school psych, Amanda, or school psych, Amanda G for my teacher's pay teachers page. Um, and I share tons of resources. I do a lot of resources where you can find um, like pre and post test activities related to different children's books. I have other pre and post tests related to expected and unexpected behaviors, um, things like finding your triggers and learning about like your emotions. So definitely check out my page. Um, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram and let's connect. I love connecting with others, um, school psychologists or social workers, bed teachers through Instagram. It's such a fun way to connect and learn from one another and collaborate, get some other ideas. So please feel free to connect with me on um, social media. I'd love to have you guys join our little family. Um, and I do have some other things that I've recently purchased on um, Amazon. Amazon is like one of my favorite places to art, um, order materials for counseling and social emotional lessons with my students. Um, I have a new game that I recently purchased. Um, I did find this game actually, they did have it at Target, they had it at um, lots of places. Target, I saw it at TJ Maxx, at Marshalls, but I did find it for a little cheaper at Amazon, so I ordered it from Amazon, so I will do a little video um, where I share on that. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. It's so nice to be back in action with my YouTube channel. I kind of took a little bit of a hiatus um, at once the school year kind of picked up, so I'm hoping to be a little bit more active on here. And if you have other recommendations for books that you would recommend for SEL lessons with students or to share out with families, please let me know. I'd love to hear from them or hear from you guys about them. So thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And if you're watching this, um, tomorrow is Veterans Day, so I hope you have a restful day. And to all of our veterans that have served in the military, Terry, thank you so much for your service. I am very fortunate that one of my aunts, who I'm really lucky to work with at my school, um, she is a veteran as well. So today I was excited to also celebrate her at school with her class and her students. So thank you guys so much for your service and I hope you guys have a really great rest of your week. Bye guys, take care.